I'm gonna fucking delete this game. Alright. Well, welcome back, people, to the next episode of Horizon Zero No, Horizon Forbidden West. As always, in the last one, did a bunch of cool stuff. A bunch of cool stuff happened. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But that's all I'm going to say about the last episode, and we're just going to continue with the series. Right now, I'm making my way this way uh, to get Poseidon, and then maybe do some stuff on the way. But we'll find out. Anyway. I'll be ready for the next fight. Will you? I don't think you were ready. Perfectly executed. Why you gotta do that? God damn. Oh my god. My god, he's like a samurai. Was like one anyway. Oh. Supply drop. Hurry. Why the spike is still intact. Rig's still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this rig of yours, it's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment, and you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? You do seem downright knowledgeable. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. Faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. The further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from one lost soul to another. I'd sure like to know what it means. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. Oh. Enduring victory. Interesting. Can't seem to get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. All right. Where was she? Oh yeah, follow the thing, right? Hello again. Your rig is picking up an old world message. A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during a, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh, I still can't get a fix on the source. 
Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you move the rig now? Try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message, then let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller, the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Hmm. Well, there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind near a place I'm uh, camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Silga. And when you find it, Aloy, I'd be eager to hear what it is. Okay. What the fuck? There we go. Whoa. That's cool. Good lord. I'm done. Be Gee, fucking. <laughs> it's just 360 done, that bitch. Right in the nuts. Got it. Oh, I did jump on it. Nice. Now I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. That really was a long shot. I was so close. To drowning, maybe. Not not to the embers. M Moreland. It's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. I 
And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appeared. Yeah, okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark One. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. <laughs> She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. Um. Why here? What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well. <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or a maid? I wouldn't I'd say believe you. Point. Yeah, no nonsense. That. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, 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 with a proper spark, these magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. After not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence. Our new invention. Good point. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. All right.
One synthetic membrane. Fuck these things. This thing now. Probably get a get back tomorrow. Uh, guest list of fifty. <laughs> so we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no. For him, scrapper's up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral. Thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were gonna move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. Uh, I've heard that before. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. How about I shove your head underwater and, you know... Wait until the bubbles stop. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. Alright, don't be weird about it. There's a very special salvage I want down there. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. But suddenly, the dancing lights around us changed. Lights? What do you mean? Images in the air. Sparked by the embers, the salvage I'm after. Tiny hologram projectors? At first, there were lots of images. Women and, and coins. Oh, slot machines, food okay. Stuff. And then, suddenly, they turned nautical. Waves. Fish. There was this flash of red. And the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot uh, near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Thanks. Time to see if this thing works. Let's go. Okay, so I don't have to worry about oxygen Everything anymore. Else seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Through here. All right. Maybe it wasn't slot machines then. 
Seems like I was just stuff. Nautical lights. It must be Poseidon's doing. That looks like a way out. Poseidon's down here somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. Oh my god. Well, now I'm just terrified. Oh my god, it's the Eiffel Tower. There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. Oh, son of a bitch. I'll have to swim around them. Stick to cover. Back up and find the access point for the second node. Ooh. Nice. Oh, my God, alligators. Burrowers, really? They can swim underwater. Of course, they can. Oh. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Okay. Let's see if that helps. Okay. I've taken care of both nodes. Cool. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. Okay. There. Finally. Wow, look at this place. Beautiful. Okay, that's fine, because I got this. Courage left these machines behind. Let's sneak by them. Throw the big one first. Why would I do that? Where's the big one? Okay. Poseidon is through there. But where did that machine go? 
Oh god. It's still in the water. Of course it is. Is this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, yes, obviously. Problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. Shut what? the fuck up. Are you It's so cool. It's like the Loch Ness Monster. Are you gonna hurt me? No. Ow. Holy crap. What am I supposed to do against this? shot shit hold on good thing I got that thing broken there we go look at that incredible you did it yeah I did it not you lot, I did it. I don't care about him. Why would I talk to him? Sidon should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. Let's do this. I'm assuming it's gonna be that way. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master operator activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. Cool. Easy. Another subordinate function down. Oh my god. Look at this place. Wow. Oh my god. Just up. There you go. 
There you fucking go. Finally. That's what I was trying to do the whole time. Oh shit, wait, it did the whole sea? Oh my god. Oh, show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized. His old Gramps' legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the Embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, <laughs> no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Yeah, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is going to stay, wow. maybe I should come back and check on them later. Definitely. I want to see what this place turns into. Guy. Hello, people. I'm back. And hello, Gaia. We now have Poseidon. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Oh, she. I'll be right down. Aloy, oh. I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Very hey, cool. Gaia. I'm back. So I see what is on your mind. Uh. Oh my God. You mentioned that the didn't mean to do that. Have subsided. Is that ether at work? Yes. Thanks to Ether's capabilities, weather patterns in the local region should mostly stabilize for the time being. Well, that's a relief. It'd be nice not to have to fight my way through a storm anymore. I will continue to stabilize the atmosphere for as long as I can. So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. It is true, she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the zeniths i guess so give her time she may yet come around okay. how's katalo doing i have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him in an effort to remedy this i have discussed a potential solution with him i believe he will want to fill you in on the details all right. Solution? Wait, are we gonna make him I a can. fucking robot arm? That would be awesome. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, 
I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, due to Zoe's perseverance, we may have a workaround. Yeah, she filled me in. Sounds promising. Laurel and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. Oh my god. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. Good. Good on him. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. How? Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. Oh my god, I don't care anymore. I'll Jesus Christ. I wish you safe Why is there so much thing? What? So many dialogue options to talk about companions. Good lord. Okay. What? Data modules in. Oh. Alright. Oh. What is happening? Ah. Oh. That's cool. Oh, I like that. That's cool. What do you want? Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy oh. sure does love his little big man. She found that recording in from the data on Don't you just love that this fucking sliding audio just she keeps replaying? It's so great. you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Festus, and studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her. And he's proving her. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My surveyor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I have learned enough. And then, but one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me. In a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. And a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew it was a bit so bad, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't! 
Okay? I thought of every possible reason right, that would make fuck? her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilt is the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that then. Good lord. What the hell? What's wrong? I'm trying, Laurel. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Yeah, I don't like her. I'm not a fan. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Ross's name. You never talk about it. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with the Festus. Sure. But I will hold my breath. Finally. Okay. I'm going to end this episode here then. So, as always, if you've enjoyed, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know if you enjoyed this episode and if you're excited for the rest of the series. Subscribe if you're new or if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next episode. To Lou Buckaroos.